Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be your reading for the week of the 28th, going to the 4th of July. She's bare-faced um, just for today, why not? Um, I'm giving my skin a break, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, for the air signs, this is actually really a good week. Um, the overall theme that spirit really wanted to point out to you was that this is going to be a week of clarity anything that's done behind your back you are going to see all right so enemies might reveal themselves to you you might see people's true colors but this also talks about clarity in your life from your perspective right so internal clarity is also going to be gained around this time so anything that you felt was self-sabotaging within yourself we are kind of redirecting ourselves we are re-correcting things that we may have done in the past as well are going on within this week um because there's just a sense of clarity coming in. the judgment card came up with the seven of swords so endings to relationships where there are just where there is deceit involved and you're figuring it out and you're trusting your gut um with certain things and i think that's mainly what it is it's almost like we knew something now this can relate to relationships career can relate to again self-sabotaging behaviors within yourself but you knew something was wrong you knew something wasn't the right path or the right person, but you needed evidence, right? You, need, you needed spirit's help. You may have prayed for it, whatever it was, uh, to find clarity, to get this closure, to get this understanding so that you can move to the next thing. And you're gaining that within this week. So however it's going to affect you is going to be different for everybody. Um, but I do definitely feel like that is going to be coming up for you. So the situation is going to be revealed for what it truly is. And it is going to help you close the doors and open new doors to something else, which is good because that's what the judgment is all about, right? It's a good and bad bad situation coming to an end so that good can begin again for you which is nice um there was a key number for you guys and it is the number 12 this is a really good number actually because it goes to a three and how i see this is that you're learning how to express yourself and you're learning the uniqueness that's within you especially you aquarius you are just known to be unique very different from other people um and even your goals and stuff is very unique and within this week you are going to really be expressing it a lot more you're figuring yourself out and you're able to express it a lot more which is nice and uh, it comes to being in alignment to your true purpose which is what the number three means uh, for me uh, anyways so uh, we're learning new things a lot of you are learning about new industries could be starting a project here uh, or anything like that you are educating yourself on something which I definitely do see um, which is nice this is also going to be very powerful for you and your future here so building a legacy most definitely and also one thing that I really want you to focus on within this week here Aquarius is to balance your emotions. A lot of doves are flying around right now. So making sure we're coming in a very balanced, uh, stable position before we are, I wanna say, I wanna say don't jump to conclusions. I would say trust your gut though. Um, trust your gut, but just wait for things to uh, balance out because it's almost like the universe is really stepping in for you guys within this week, but getting yourself involved might come across in, it, it's just saying that it's tricky it's tricky so i would just kind of take a step back really kind of maybe go hermit um do some inner reflection do some inner work and, and guide yourself a lot of you are looking into the future a lot more this week which is good but i just feel like your emotions need to be balanced within this week especially if a relationship's coming in which i did actually get for a lot of you guys a divine partnership it was the emperor and the empress which is amazing so this is a relationship that's very powerful it could also be a career uh, partnership as well so whatever it is it's very powerful there's a lot of depth to it and a lot of stability here and you're both on the same page which is amazing so especially Especially for those of you who are looking for relationships, this is a really, really good time of where a connection could come together or an already existing connection is definitely going to strengthen uh, within this week as well. So let's go into your reading and see what else is coming up for you specifically here, Aquarius. Also, you might notice that the setup's changed. I'm just um, at my parents, at my mom's house. Right, let's see what's going on for you guys. For Aquarius for the week. Here we go. So we're gaining a lot of ideas. This is a really, really good time for you in terms of your career, in terms of your motivation, in terms of bringing ideas to life. This is also really good for adapting to situations. So a lot of you guys are going to have this like sense of getting things done and, and doing things. This is really good. Your energy is going to be there. Motivation is going to be there. So expect this week to get a lot done. Um, this is also really good in terms of taking on the leadership position. So a lot of you might find yourself becoming the leader of a group or um, in your career 
you're being promoted maybe even or if this is already your position expect yourself to do a very good job within this week um because you're learning to adapt your problem solving you're finding solutions it's very very productive energy for you guys within this week which is nice also good in terms of kind of being in a spotlight and i say that we do have a lot of people who are going to be complimenting you and speaking about you you're going to be very popular uh, around this week whether it's good or bad you know bad press is good press they say <laughs> if people are talking bad about you but either way you're definitely center of the thing does that make sense that doesn't make sense you're in a center right spotlight energy coming through whether you like it or not i do feel like people are going to be uh looking at you this week we have a king of swords coming through here so again problem solving skills really really pumping out here you could be dealing with two uh, people in a relationship by the way uh, could be a fire sign and another air sign it doesn't have to be uh, this is going to be a very good partnership if this is the case um, especially career wise you and someone else um let's see what else is coming up for aquarius because what we're using here is very blunt and direct uh, decision making which is really great but also we're adapting to situations with motivation it's kind of the hot and cold energy coming through within this week right let's see what else is coming up for Aquarius we have the eight of swords and the three of wands right so there is a heavy theme coming through in terms of like the unknown so I will mention to you guys that when when there's a bit of this fear not fear but you're really trying to get involved in your future and where that's going, right? You're really trying to plan things. Um, but the only problem is with the Eight of Swords, there's a little bit of a fear or a um, difficulty in terms of where the future's going with someone. Could definitely be there is two people here or within yourself or where things are going in the future for you. Because the Three of Wands is saying that there's a bit of a weight uh, going on for you. If it's career, could be a long distance relationship. There's fears getting involved because something is still unpredictable and uh, i think we're wanting to control the situation because we do with the emperor here and if we are sitting on this throne if it's our own business or own company again or anything in our life wanting to take control in a period that is a little bit conflicting and confusing very difficult but as i said to you in the beginning there is clarity coming through by the end of the week you are going to see things clearly any decisions that you need to make around this week will be solved you will pick the right path it does look good don't criticize yourself and don't get caught up here because one thing i will say is that there's almost like a wanting to give up or wanting to not do it because the fact that it's going to take a while to lift off and we're not wanting that we're kind of wanting quick success or because we just don't know where this is going to go and it is slightly unpredictable um because i do get a sense here with the, the also the eight of cups underneath that of things getting a bit too confusing that you just walk away just be careful of that you are in a lot more control than you think and sometimes it's best to not make a decision yet so that you can make a decision when you're a lot more clear-headed uh, which is really important this could be in terms of relationships, please do resonate with it however you wish, but I do feel like there is a period of wait um, before we can see clearly, all right? The fears are mainly in your mind though. I don't see anything bad happening. I think that we're talking ourselves out of a situation because it's still unpredictable because we still don't know about it. But the next three months are definitely gonna be very good for you and a lot of progress for you within the next three, did I say three weeks or three months? Because I meant three months. Yeah, here we go nine of pentacles gaining that clarity gaining that independence really kind of gaining that financial gains as well especially again i am going to really point towards people who are starting their own business starting their own thing or just getting their shit together by themselves because the nine of pentacles is independent it is kind of um financial independence as well you know freedom it's a really good card also of understanding yourself and being of high value so for those of you who have felt a little bit stuck um you are definitely going to be a lot happier by the end of the week because of how you're viewing yourself and um if we're going to go deep into it aquarius spirit kind of wants me to i don't want to bore you with the psychological things here but what's coming in is that this um you are kind of really wanting to be in control of your life and that's a definitely a big theme um there is slightly an insecurity when things are out of your control. You'd rather just leave it behind, especially in relationships. It's a bit of an escape mechanism for you. I'm just going to point it out there. It doesn't, if it doesn't resonate, then that's fine. But for those of you, Spirit's really pointing it, saying that this is your escape mechanism. You tend to feel like you want to walk away from a situation just because it's unpredictable. But they're saying to keep going with this because it isn't bad. You holding on to something, it isn't bad. You... Um, 
not knowing in a time being because it will get clearer to you and you will be able to progress down this journey that you've always wanted to progress down especially in terms of self-value expect yourself to feel good about yourself by the end of the week which is nice I do feel like this has a lot to do with that clarity that's coming in as well. The Nine of Pentacles is very rightly so being shown as a peacock and the peacock spirit is also about shining in a spotlight. So that's another key thing coming up for you again, that you are going to be seen. People are going to really be inspired by you within this week. Most likely your work ethic, most likely how you look after yourself, how you treat yourself and uh, just the way that you go about things. We also have a lot of cards jumping out here. So any new paths and journeys that you seem to be embarking on does look really amazing and good by the way this can also be any romantic offers mm, we are protecting ourselves here if you are in a relationship i do see you protecting your family your relationship and everything like that because for some reason i can sense that some of you are married um could be a gemini could be anything here but we're just this is you libra and why am i calling you libra all of a sudden sorry about that aquarius um this is a Libra card as well, so it could be dealing with a Libra, but this is a general reading or a Leo we have as well, but it doesn't really matter. All that I see is that you're protecting something, whether it's a project, whether it is a decision that you have to make. This can also be you calling the shots by the end of the week too, when things get clearer. I feel like you're holding something like you're waiting to make a decision because this is really a big decision for you with a lover's card or again, a big person in your life. So you're asking for some more time which is interesting. It is very interesting. Look at me scratching my chin. Really interesting here. 11 11, as I said that. I think you're going to go for it, whether it's a relationship or a, a partnership here, or just a new project here with a page of pentacles. This does look very strong. I think you know that too, but maybe you're waiting for that more, you know, more evidence, like I said in the beginning. But you will start to see more evidence when you come out of your head a little bit, Aquarius, and actually see it for how it is. I think this is definitely already showing it you that this could be a very good connection or a good uh, uh, thing to go down, especially with this. This is amazing. It takes a lot of courage to do what it is that you're going to do, though. I feel like um, we are having to, you know, be, we're being called to, to lead. We're being called to step up a little bit more. We're being called to come outside our comfort zone, try new things, learn new things. Again, education is coming back in here, but it is the right path. And I love this illustration of the strength card because it's like you're doing it by yourself or you're really kind of taking pride in how you're walking. I love it very very focused on something here that you're learning maybe this is you kind of putting an end like a hold on love as well because you're rather focusing on something else a big decision in your life it's going to resonate differently for others but take it how you wish either way us moving forward does look really really good aquarius <laughs> a lot of you ask me why i say us and we i don't know why i'm not an aquarius but i, I seem to like it's like a group i'm speaking to all of you ten of cups happiness this is also something that we can bring to a lot of other people you're going to find a lot of emotional satisfaction and happiness out of this decision that you decide to make and you're going to feel very very good that you made the right one as well so and look we have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck too <laughs> well here we go it's pretty self-explanatory here um there's a reason why you're caught on something i want to kind of say something keeps catching your eye keeps catching your attention or you keep coming back to the same idea or same conclusion there's a reason behind that you automatically know what's going to make you happy, but you're waiting to see more, hear more from spirit. That's what it feels like. Well, I hope this is your sign, Aquarius, <laughs> to go for it. It looks amazing. Yeah, here we go. Ace of Wands. Projects, new ideas. It could even be moving. This is a good card for moving as well. Relocation. Here we go. This is very good. It's passion. Very similar to the King of Wands in the beginning. A lot of you are creating this reality for yourself. And there's a lot more ambition coming in for this, which is amazing. So need I say any more for the week? Anything else for Aquarius or is that everything? King of Pentacles. Expect to see your finances also increasing with this. All right. We have a King of Pentacles. The moon was on the bottom of the deck here. So maybe that is your worries about your financial things. Uh, standpoint, sorry. Because the King of Pentacles is a good card. Let's see. The Five of Cups. Is this a person? The Death card. Are we walking away from an Earth sign? Yeah, because there's a bit of confusion here. Now, one thing I do see, though, is that there is going to be communication or clarity from an Earth sign within this week to clear the air. But some of you might leave before that even happens. That's why I feel like... Because someone's holding up on the small details, right? Someone's looking at the negative side of things. Then you have the death card here. So transformation is coming through. And this could even be for those of you who are struggling financially. 
that there is a transformation coming through with your finances. But this could definitely be a person that we're walking away from because they're a little bit pessimistic. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, the moon card. That's what was um, underneath. Someone might be in their emotions a little bit, though. They're a little bit confused themselves, if I'm going to be honest with you. But the Ace of Cups is there. Six of Swords is there. Things will get better with this person if you stay. But if you don't want to stay, then that's down to you. If it keeps going in a loop, then I'd obviously say move away. It's a karmic situation. Um, but if you want, this does have the death. This does have transformation there. But it's down to you, my lovelies. I feel like that's free will. Some of you will want to leave, and that's fine. Is Will the name? I don't know why I'm getting no name. Will or William. Um, or it could be about a Will. Whoever knows. <laughs> but for some reason, that, that meant something when I said it. I could tell. Um, but there's transformation coming through with your finances, which is amazing. I would really focus here again on yourself, on your worth and your sense of value, how you're treating yourself, how you're also being perceived by others is really important. Now, when I say that, I don't mean pay attention to what people are saying i mean you know as long as you're being in your own energy and again being unique people are going to speak about you whether it's good or bad but it, it either way it's a good thing as long as you're happy that's all i care about but any new things that you're doing around this week look amazing keep going with it take that leap of faith if you want to education looks good around this week as well so that all looks good and you're just figuring out what's going on in your life so clarity is coming in as well let me just pull you out um an animal spirit card for you for the week Aquarius life is a mystery and you're being told to accept it <laughs> you're being told to accept it here um you get to create your own destiny by the way so life is a mystery for that reason because if everything was known and set in stone what fun would it be huh you kind of know your life and that would be it but life is a mystery for a reason. Now we have the number eight, which is saying about karma here. I always use this card as changes are happening for you, Aquarius. But these are changes that are coming around uh, because of the karma that you've done. So if you've done a lot of good stuff in your life, expect good stuff to come your way. If you haven't, which I don't think you'll be here if you haven't, you know, been good. Because <laughs> I feel like my channel attracts all the good people, which is nice. But again, bad karma will come back round for those who deserve it, which is good for people who have mistreated you. So just understand that. But life is a mystery for a reason. And we're being told to accept that you can. This is where the magic lies, really. And uh, again, it's kind of like karma at the end of the day. So karma is in the mix for you, which is good for those who deserve it. And that's also why amazing things are happening for you for the week and clarity is coming in, which is good because you deserve that too. So my angels, that is your reading for the week. I wish you all the best. It is a good week for you. So I'm super, super happy. Um, and next time I will be more presentable, but it's what it is. I <laughs> love you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.